Hello everyone, this is Koder Singh and today I will be talking about Redux, uh, yes, React and Redux. Uh, I have got many requests on making this particular tutorial on Redux. So I finally uh, got time and uh, I, I, was, I wanted it to make it from a very long time but was not able to get some time. So finally, uh, we are here, let me just uh, go to uh, CD Redux. Redux. We're gonna first create the project, and I'm gonna make it in TypeScript. Uh, there is nothing over here, so I'm gonna do create React app first tutorial. Maybe first toot dash dash TypeScript. So first of all, why TypeScript? Uh, because TypeScript JavaScript is something I I really don't like because I have been working with some production level. Uh, stuff with react and redux and uh, I was doing it with JavaScript initially and I Found it very difficult to maintain the code as it is not defined the type is not defined uh, We do not get uh, linting errors and each and everything. There is no compilation error we get so TypeScript help helps you out uh, as it uh, As it is very beneficial in the sense that you have uh, you can create classes uh, you can create enum interfaces and you can implement all those kind of things uh, in TypeScript, which is ultimately compiled into JavaScript in in the in its own way. Uh, but for a, from a developer perspective, it is really really beneficial. And if you are certainly making a project, uh, so I, I really get uh, this question: when to use JavaScript and when to use TypeScript. So I would say if you are if you have a really complex architecture of your application, or if you can say if you if you are writing more than five thousand lines of code in React. Then I would highly recommend don't do it in JavaScript. Do it in TypeScript. So this is the so you can evaluate if your project is big. Then you for go, go for TypeScript. So enough of TypeScript first, and uh, so it is about Redux. So uh, let's start. Why like well, what is the basic React uh, component? I know we so in the basic React component, as you can see, we just have uh, UI, logic, and state in a particular component. And yes, we do have props, but uh, uh, I'm not including it in this one. So in uh, so in this particular React component file, we have the UI and the, in the same file, logic in the same file and state in the same file. So we can only manipulate the state of this particular component only. What if we have a parent component and a child React component? Now from the child React component, I want to manipulate the state of a parent React component, which is certainly possible in React using context API I've already I already have a tutorial on context API so why be using redux so I mean then why redux I would highly recommend I would be adding the presentation link it is um, public the link I will be sharing in my description do refer this uh, slide if you wanna if you wanna go uh, refer to this slide and do refer it and uh, you can refer this particular link then uh, then why redux because I don't want to explain what is the difference between context API and redux so how we will be designing the Redux architecture with React? So it's just a coder thing way in the sense. Uh, I don't know if other people are doing the same thing, but the architecture which I will be building uh, is is something uh, which I'm been implementing from a very long time. So in the case of Redux, we'll have UI, which JSX or TSX file. We have actions and reducers, and we will have store an application level state management system. So what is UI? UI in UI we'll just write the HTML. In action over here, we'll just like the logic of the that particular component and reducer. Reducer will hold the component state. And over here the store, store will be holding the state of all the components. So this is this is basic example of it. And uh, so yes, my app is created. So first dude, I'm gonna do yarn start over here. First, I'm gonna do code. I'm gonna open it in VS Code, and I'm gonna do yarn start now. And uh, so let it run for a while. I mean, let it run in the background. So over here, I'm gonna add a new folder called components. Components, yes, and right over here. So if I wanna <coughs> Start with uh, re Redux. 
So I have to add some dependencies over here. So I'm going to open a terminal over here and I'm going to do yarn add. You can do npm install dash dash save. Yarn add redux. React redux. And redux. I will not be showing redux thunk in this one. But uh, I will be showing in little tutorials of it for sure. What is redux thunk? Uh, it is basically a middleware uh, in which you can perform asynchronous function. So let's suppose you have a scenario that uh, you want to get some data from an API and that is very much uh, asynchronous call only. So once the, once you receive the data, only when you only then you want to uh, manipulate the state. So in that case, the, this particular Redux thumb comes into the picture as a middleware. And then we can implement that particular thing in it as well. So uh, I'm going to create some files. I'm going to create a store file over here. So I'm going to name it. Okay, I don't want it. Com component. Okay, I'm going to name it store.ts. I'm going to create a reducer folder. Reducers folder. And in reducers folder, I'm going to have index dot ts file so just follow this there's a basic step setup you always have to do with it but it is a pain uh, for a beginner but at the end of the day it is very very helpful so how, how i'm gonna align i'm gonna make a new component so in the component we will be creating a folder let's suppose home home component so in home component I will have file home component dot tsx. I'll have a file called home component actions dot ts, not tsx in this one. Home component uh, reducer dot ts. And I'm gonna have one more file home component types dot ts and just one more file. It is optional, but I do it, and I feel that everyone should do it too. Uh, but it is in in my opinion basically a home component interfaces dot ts. So we have all these files and now I'm going to start uh, coding in React. So first of all, we, we have implemented this particular thing. As we, I'm, in, I'm doing it in uh, TypeScript, so I have to add yarn. Yarn and add the red types for React Redux. I guess this is the one. Yes, so this is the one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all go to my store file. So we need the store file first of all. What what is going to be there? So we'll have an initial state. This is this is particular. This is initial state of application level. So we're going to keep it an empty object over here, and then we're going to have a middle here if we have one. So for those who are not using thunk. They do not have to add anything, but if you're using thunk, then you have just have to add thunk into it. And then we're gonna have create a store. const store is equals to create store. So yes, it is implemented from Redux. And now we need a reducer to it. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll go to a reducer file index.ts. We're gonna create a reducer over here. We're gonna create a combined reducer. So this this particular file we're gonna do export default combined reducers. So as I told you, each and every each and every file has its own reducer, and reducer holds the state state component state. So we're going to combine each and every reducer and we're going to give it to the store so that it can have the application level state, not a component level state. So over here, we're going to combine the reducers. 
So we're gonna implement the reduces part later over here. We're gonna go to store, we're gonna import it. So how are you gonna import it with this one, right? Import uh come back are we gonna is to import reducers or uh, root reducer from reducers so we have the reducers you can name it anything i have given it root, root reducer is because it's the root one like it holds everything root reducer we have now so in the root reduce uh, apart from root reducer we gonna have the initial state what will be the initial state of the application and if there is any middleware we are going to do apply middleware and uh, this we are just going to do three dots and middleware over here there is some error in it I guess I don't know why it is uh, showing in this particular error or for time being we can uh, just remove it then just pass in the null is not assignable to store and enhance uh, let's see what's what's wrong with it mm, quick fix so yes so we did never and uh, empty array of type never uh, okay, so what are we gonna do now? We have created our store. We have created our reducer, which is empty. Now we're gonna go to app.tsx. We wanna remove all this code. We're gonna remove this particular thing as well. And uh, I'm gonna write provider. We have to write. Uh, we have to uh, add a provider, and we have to wrap our entire app in this provider tag. So if we don't wrap it in the provider tag, it's not going to work. So we're going to Im import the store which we created. So we're going to import store from store. Do we have? Yes, we have store. Okay, fine. Let's go to store and check what is there. Okay, we have to do export default. default store so after doing export default store we're going to tsr okay I'm, I'm not getting that particular tsrcc okay i had installed in uh, an extension but i guess it's not working as of now so we have react fc functional function component over here you're gonna copy it you're gonna paste it um, you're gonna name it what are you gonna name it you're gonna name it uh, home layout we're gonna remove this thing we're gonna have home layout over here we are going to import we are going to import react from react since we have this over here we are going to create a react dot fragment Tag in this we're gonna have input type we can keep it text value we can give later name we can define as name hmm. so value is yet to be given and certainly it's not a class component so we're gonna just make it a class component first class home layout extends
component. So we're going to have a render function as well, public render and yes, we're going to move the code over there. So everything is going good and we're just gonna add any for time being over here any any and everything is good you can set the value to be something d now we have uh, make a simple component over here and i'm gonna import a component in this file so we're gonna declare some actions over here so so we're declaring the actions we need to have an on change action because if if I want to change something then uh, we have to call we have to set the new state in it so I'm gonna have view uh, home component action which is uh, which will be holding an uh, action one action particularly for time me on change it is we'll get an event react dot uh, change event of type html input so i'll explain you what is this this is an on change function it will have a par parameter of type react dot change event which will have a html input element html input element we are referring to this one over here so what are we going to do we're going to we just gonna use uh we're gonna just we just gonna return this particular method but before returning we should have a file of uh, type so what are we gonna do we're gonna make enum we're gonna do export default enum home component enter uh home component types and then export enum sorry so uh, we'll have on change on change is equals to home component on change so this is very important the value which you are writing over here has to be unique in your entire application this value has to be unique so for each and every component if you are creating different components then just, just make sure uh, the value of this particular uh, enum doesn't match with that okay so over here okay I, I made it in the wrong file oh I made it in the reducer file we're gonna cut it and we're gonna paste it over here so now uh, the re reducer file is yet to be implemented so for the reducer file we're gonna start with uh, let's we're gonna start with the interfaces first and then we're gonna come to reducer file so uh, let's let's do it uh, okay let's let's make a basic reducer const reducer uh, is of type reducer and yes it is imported from redux okay we need the interface for it so we're gonna define an interface first of all export interface home layout state we're gonna define a home layout state in it so it's gonna be uh, let's suppose name of type string and we're gonna do export interface home layout reducer state so we're gonna do home lay layout home layout state so why I'm doing this because this will be implemented as a state but this will be gone as a reducer you will see why I have implemented this particular kind of thing we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to reducer we're gonna call home layout state not reducer state in it only the home layout state so we'll have st 
state uh, is equals to we're gonna declare our initial state const initial state so this is a component level state not a uh, not uh, not an application level state so here I am so we're gonna define it state uh, initial initial state we have to define of what type it is home layout state we can do that thing if it's required I'm gonna do action and then I'm gonna implement this thing so and the, this warning is basically for exporting the reducer so you're gonna export reducer as home layout layout reducer so we're gonna have a switch statement of type action dot type we're gonna have default first then we're gonna return state state is this thing over here and action is this particular thing so what I'll do I'll put it on the different line over here so we have switch statement you're gonna have a case statement so now we're gonna do home component types dot on change and we're gonna return dot 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 state this means the initial state whatever it is there and if I wanna figure out some new thing so we're gonna do name or we're gonna do uh, action dot payload dot name so I'm gonna explain you each and everything how this payload is coming and what is the user of it action dot payload dot value so reducer has been set up now we have to go to the reducer reducers uh, component over here reducers uh, folder over here now we're gonna go home layout is equals to home layout reducer so this has been implemented over here so as you can see in this file is linked to the store file over here and and home layout reducer is linked to this particular reducer over home component home component reducer over here so the state has been managed to somehow go to the uh, application level state so now we have to map the on change one into this particular thing so now we're gonna start with on change and uh, we're gonna have some uh, we're gonna just have one thing in it we're gonna just do return type home components dot on change and in payload I'm gonna give name e dot current target dot name and value e dot current target dot value so as you can see over here I am passing a type let me open it in a right hand side I'll close it so over here as you can see I am passing a type over here to this particular component and how it is being linked it will be linked in a, a home layout or tsx file and i'll show you so it will be ultimately linked in that particular file and uh, so the type is being passed over here so once and it is passed in the action uh, over here so once we return the data from here it goes to this particular action it calls this method of reducer and the data is stored in the action so we use a switch case action of type so type if we define home component types dot on change so it checks its home component types on change and then in the return 
we define this uh, we return the default state and the updated version action dot payload we are we are passing the payload over here and this comes to here in the reducer and once it's the state is changed the ui is rendered so now comes the mapping of actions to reduces which have not been done up till now but now we are going to do that and uh, first of all we have to map the state of the component to uh, to the props because in this case in just one second i have to open home component so in this case everything will will be coming as a prop it will not be coming a, as an uh, state to this component so 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 the props props are basically uh, so you must be knowing what are props props are basically things which are being transferred from parent to a child component so there has to be a parent to it so as you can see we wrapped each and everything in a in advertising we wrapped each and everything in a provider and provider has a store so if the state of this a uh, provider changes it passes down to this particular layout which is will be embedded in that thing so we'll define the uh, state over here uh, so we going to have a type we just so we already have a home layout home layout state home layout state but we do not have the function in it so as it is a type script so we have to get that function of it as well so interface we will have uh, home layout functions functions i am referring to the actions action file functions in the action file we are going to have on change it is a type of on change from home component actions so it is a type of on change of home components from action so we're going to combine the these both type we're going to name it all types all props sorry so you're going to say home layout function and home layout state and instead of this we will be passing all props so as you can see i just combine both the both the things home layout state is <coughs> a state which is been defined in the interfaces over here uh, over here so home layout state we are referring to in the tsx file so now comes the mapping of this particular uh, props to its state so we call it const map state to props and it will hold the data state and now we will have home layout reducer state in it not the state not the normal state we will have the reducer state and now you can see its magic we will have name state dot i get an auto completion of home home layout and then we i get the auto completion of name so this is basically uh, i getting the auto completion and i'm getting the type checks in it so this only uh, type script whole uh, point is to have auto completion and uh, getting the linting power of the ide and everything like that so that's why it has been implemented so in this file i just created an instance of this in a home layout so why i gave the name uh, that the key of this to as a home layout only because in the index.ts i have defined it as home layout if i want to define it with something else and i have to define it with define uh, that particular thing we have to change that our particular thing over here as well so from the reducer it is coming to the home from the index.ts it is coming to uh, to the home layout over here so that's why we have to and the state holds each and everything in it it, it is it is the direct store over here so we're going to say state dot home layout dot name so over here the reducer has been mapped to tsx file but not the action has been mapped up till now so what are we going to do we're going to have const map dispatch to props so we're going to have dispatch of type dispatch 
and I'm gonna bind action creators and what are we gonna do over here we gonna import the entire file only from home component actions you can just copy paste over here so we can say over here home components dot on uh, on change so import star as home component actions so just make sure you import star let's ignore this thing now we gonna just paste it home components actions so in this each and every every action of that particular action file is been implemented in the tsx file now so which is now we have linked it and now we're gonna pass a dispatch method to it so uh dispatch is showing some error okay, let me i i guess uh i have to um dispatch is being used from yes so i have to add yarn mm, add, i guess so it is used from redux and that's why it is showing me the error so i'll just add on the redux to it as you can see over here i have i have mapped the redux to it and i have mapped the actions to it now i just have to connect it uh, connect all the three components over here together so for what that thing we're gonna do export default connect so connect comes from our react redux library and we're gonna say map state to props map state to props and map uh, dispatch to props basically map actions to props and then i'm gonna pass uh, then i'm gonna pass the layout name over here home layout so connect is yet to be imported imported from react redux over here and dispatch we'll change the dispatch which it is coming from we'll let's see if we get an option to import it from redux quick fix yes we got an option from import it from redux so the moment we do redux it is implemented properly now and uh, yes so everything is going good over good up till now so we're gonna now we have we can change the value of this particular thing so we have this dot props dot name and on on change you can have this dot props dot on change and now what we're gonna do we are going to import this home layout in this home layout out over here so we're going to import okay it is home component sorry home component over here it is asking me for couple of uh, name is missing and other things are missing which is which has been implemented over here So it says a property name is missing in type but is required by read only all props name so name is declared here so now what we have to do is home component in home component we have to go we just have to mark it mm. we just have to uh, basically okay i forgot i forgot to add this particular thing over there then so now as we go to add or tsx it's gone so it was basically showing me that you have not mapped it the name over here anywhere so please do map it i don't know how much let me just uh, put on the charger to my laptop uh this so as you can see now everything is working and my server is already running so let's see if i'm able to type something or not no i'm not able to type anything as of now 
because this dot props dot on change is been implemented. Let's 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 debug it over here. So we're gonna do console log name e dot current e dot current target name. Over there, so it is. It has been re-rendered. Inspect. I'm gonna go to console. So you're just gonna write something over here. So cannot read property name of undefined action dot payload. Okay, the spelling of payload is misspelled. So you, I get, I think that you guys must have uh, figured it out yourself. But those for for those who have not, then uh, it is for them. Sometimes you do all these kind of funny mistakes, silly mistakes basically. So I, now I just have to write anything and yes, so it is it is running right now. So this is a basic setup of Redux. If you really want to uh, want me to make some more tutorials on Redux, then do let me know as it is a really complex thing. And if you want me to, and if you, it is a complex thing and if you don't do not get it in once, then trust me, I, I understood this particular code in uh, like it took me a week to understand this particular thing and then up till now, now I could say that yes, I know this thing. So it is very much uh, obvious that one cannot get Redux in one day or couple of tutorials. So I hope you got to learn something new today. And thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. Uh, your uh, your likes, your comments really motivates me to create new content for you guys. And thank you so much, guys.